What's up guys, this is Top Gun from Toys and Men, and today I'm going to do a honest review of the Samsung Galaxy Gear smartwatch for, or the life companion for the newer uh, updated Android devices. Uh, so I'm going to be as honest as possible, okay, just to start, and uh, I just want you guys to kind of get an idea and hopefully I can help you decide whether or not that you truly want to purchase this device or wait. So let's dive right into it. Okay so right here is my Galaxy Note 3 and this is the only phone uh, currently that this watch is compatible with. So uh, they're going to be you know updating the GS4 and the tablets and things like that also for this to work with that. So let's jump right into what we're doing a review on. So this is the Galaxy Gear. Uh, I, I went ahead and got mine in black uh, as I think the other collars are pretty strange except for maybe that mocha gray. I'm not really a fan of the yellow or orange bands but maybe you are. I don't know yet. But anyway let's kind of look at what we got here. So other than getting the watch with the box basically you get a set of instructions and you also get the charger and you get this little docking device with the Galaxy Note 3 kind of uh, faux leather stitching which is a texture that I quite like but this I'm not really understanding this uh, very much. You actually pair the device with this. Uh, you just kind of you touch it to the back of the of the phone, and it'll actually automatically pair up. So that was kind of cool. But otherwise, I don't know why there would be a docking station other than to save, I guess, a port on the actual watch itself. But that is what it is. So this is I understand this is the uh, first crack at it from Samsung, and they are the innovators of this device. And now there's Sony taking cracks out. There's Pebble and other things like that. So, let's uh, let's take a look now at the actual unit itself. So, this is the Galaxy Gear. Now, I will say the build construction on this is is very very nice. You can see uh, this is all uh, metal, like polished metal here, and it's kind of got the same look up in here. I don't know if you can really see that over the Gorilla Glass overlay. Uh, however, this is just one of the uh, watch face screens that you can actually use. Um, if we dive deep into this, we can... You can scroll through just like a phone. Okay, so you have your contacts, which load and bring right up. logs, your apps, which you'll find your camera and your dialer, and everything else that this phone is is actually packed with. My Fitness Pal was a was a third party app I actually downloaded, so that was pretty nice. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty nifty really, but I've really noticed that there's really no reason for this. Um, you can read your text messages off of it, uh, which is which is pretty nice, you know, if you're at work or anything like that, if you can't pull out your phone at the current time. Uh, otherwise, there's nothing uh, that I can really say that um, would, would speak up for somebody to go out and spend $300 on this device. I, I really, it feels good on, it, you know, it looks kind of bulky. But it actually doesn't feel bulky when it's on, which was uh, pretty nice. I thought it would feel really, really bulky. When you click directly on the home screen, it will actually bring up your complete weather, which is pretty. I mean, it's pretty cool. And uh, something else that's that's kind of cool about it is here. Right here is the application gear manager. This actually runs the device completely. So. If I go to clocks, oops, I'm sorry there. If I click on clocks and say today I'm filling this face and see that automatically changes the face, uh, which is which is pretty neat. 
So you can see there, it's just a simple click and it will change right away, which is very cool. I mean, I love the idea, but unfortunately, I just don't, I just don't see the reason uh, for this right now. Uh, reason is, is because it just doesn't do, it just doesn't do uh, much of anything yet. And I know it will be coming, but my question is, is when that day comes, will these, will this device be further advanced, which I'm sure it will be? Um, will it, will it have a lot more to offer? I'm sure it will. And that's, that's the biggest question right now. $300 for the first crack at it is uh, not really uh, smart, in my opinion, for right now. Uh, I do plan on returning this device, but I thought I would definitely give uh, an honest opinion about it right now. Uh, something else that's kind of cool, that if you go to apps, and you go to your camera, which right now, that's my ceiling, so I'm just going to click. It's going to take the picture, and what it's going to do is it's going to send directly to my phone. And it does it automatically. So that is a very cool uh, little feature that it also has. And the camera really, it, it isn't too bad. It doesn't look as great on the device, but it actually looks pretty good when you get it on your phone. Now, down here, it has its volume. This is where you actually talk and listen to people talk. It actually works pretty good. I mean, I've received a phone call on this, and it was it was fairly easy to uh, talk to them and to hear what they had to say, and I was actually in a crowded place. So that was pretty nice. And like I said, the uh, the build construction is nice. The band is, is, is textured. I don't know if you can see that here. It's, like, rigid, and it's very tough. Uh, I do think it's cool that they put a camera on this. However, you can see how far it sticks out here. I don't know that... Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm that big of a fan of that or not. But, however, they put it on there, and the device is pretty cool. I just My simple argument is, I just don't think it's worth $300. Uh, the Pebble was $119, and I actually had one of those as well. I wish I would have thrown up a review, but I took it in exchange for this just because of the hype this thing was getting, and of course because you know I'm a Galaxy fan, and the Samsung is my choice. Um, but however, the $299 price tag was very, very steep, and I don't believe that this device is worth $299. Now, the reason I do say that is because you can go out and you can get the new 8-inch tab for $300. Now, for a device that does a lot of nothing for the same price, I think I'd rather buy a Fossil watch, being honest, and uh, you know, spend way more than half less on that and uh, you know, because when it comes down to it, you actually have to pull out your phone and see, you know, more in depth anyway. So this just basically lets you know you have an alert, and of course, you must pull out your phone to further exchange conversation. Which in that retrospect, I don't agree with this costing $300, just to let you know, because you feel your phone, I'm sure, buzz in your pocket to let you know you have a notification. So otherwise, not understanding why it's $300. Now, there's not really any apps that are any good for this right now, and I know that will change. But right now, the applications are very, very minute, and I don't quite get it. There's, there's, no, there's no sports app yet. There's just basically a bunch of worthless nothing. Um, if you go into clock, you'll see some faces you can download for your clock. Um, utilities. Just a bunch of the same stuff. And everything's pretty much got low stars. So see, this this must be new because this wasn't on here the other day. So I'm going to go ahead and download this. And it's just simple. So when it finishes, it will actually be on the gear. So I think what they've done is revolutionary, don't get me wrong, but I do not I do not think that I would pay $300 for this if I returned this and another uh, a better smartwatch or Galaxy Gear 
was released. And let's be honest, it's not going to take very long for them to put out another Smart Gear or Galaxy Gear. So that has been my review and uh, ending here. I will kind of, I'll try to get you a up close look in case you don't know exactly what it looks like. And maybe uh, if you are interested in one or wanted to pick one up, I hope I was able to uh, kind of help you uh, do that. And like I said, I don't really recommend the watch, but there might be some, some businessmen out there that it might come you know, handy with it. You know, you could be in a meeting and, and immediately see something else. But for a, for just an average Joe, somebody that doesn't have an office job, somebody that just wants to be up on technology, I say save your $300. Uh, go out and pick up a Pebble if this is something that you want. I mean, other the only downfall to the Pebble is, of course, it is the paper white display. And the fact that the Pebble still will be released at the end of this month and you're already, uh, you'll already be, you know, left behind as far as technology is concerned if you go out and get the $119 Pebble. Because the Pebble still will be introductory price around, is it, it's either $220 or $250. So, if that's the case, and you are sold on a smartwatch, and you would, and you don't have the Note 3 or one of the newer uh, Samsung devices, then I recommend the Pebble. But otherwise, if you do have one of the newer Samsung devices and would contemplate the Pebble still for $250, then I would get this. 50 more bucks, and you have, you know, you have your complete companion for your phone. Otherwise, that has been my review on the Samsung Galaxy Gear. Uh, leave comments, please. Let me know if uh, this is something that you would like to have or if there's any questions you might have that I didn't cover here. Um, I would love to reply and let you guys uh, know any information or further information you may have. So here's my review. I hope you enjoyed my Samsung Galaxy Gear review. And as far as Toys to Men, out. <laughs>